Hi, my name is Julianne, and today I am going to be talking about certain web series on YouTube that not a lot of people have heard about, and I'm going to be reviewing the newest episode that was put out. Side note, you'll see, notice the computer on my lap. It's just like real awkward. I'm filming in front of other people, so I'm going to pretend that I'm on my computer if someone walks in. Okay, so Sherlock Holmes fans, that, and I am one as well, they complain about this whole like three years between in seasons and stuff. I think it's not complaining, okay? Because we have a year between episodes, and, okay? Or Platoon of Power Squadron. That's the name of the web series, which is really good. Trust me on that one. Um, it's basically about superheroes, and it's like these four people are all in an apartment, and they all have powers. One can stop time and like time travel. One, it has really freaky powers. Like he can like atom, Tom, atomize you. I guess I don't know. It, it, it's scary. It's like really powerful stuff. Another person, who by the way is Craig from Weezy Waiter, he has the power of like electricity, and the other one can like multiply herself, and it's it's really good. It's so good. It might take you a few like episodes to get into. Trust me though, it gets so good. And like it started in 2009, so and every year they put out an episode. Luckily I wasn't a fan from the beginning, like I became a fan like it was either this year, possibly last year. The third pew got me into it. He I was watching the videos, he recommended it, so I decided to go watch his watch Platoon of Power Squadron and it's amazing. I got so addicted to watching it, like it took me like a day or two to watch all of them. And there was like eight episodes and the ninth episode just came out recently. I don't know when this video will come up so this might be late, but I don't think it really matters since, you know, there's not a big fan base for this show. It's just so good. It's so good. It kind of has, I don't even know how to explain it. There's like this villain who I would say is similar to the smoke monster from Lost, kind of, but probably scarier. And it's so funny too, like it gets dark, really dark, like the first death that happened was so just, it just came out of nowhere all of a sudden. If you watched it obviously you know what I'm talking about, that was crazy man. It can get pretty dark, but then the next scene will be like really funny, so I feel like it balances that out really well. And it's more on a silly kind of side, like, I guess I would compare it, like, the comedy, like, the style comedy, I would compare it to Video Game High School. And not a lot of people have watched that, so I don't know how good of a basis that is for anyone out there. Maybe another closest to the comedy, but would maybe be Psych, because that's more on the silly side, but it definitely the humor is, goes most closely with VGHS, in my opinion. So yeah, so 9 was crazy. Um, I d remembered it like Monday morning, like midnight or whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh, VG um, not VHS, um, Platoon and Power Squadron, it's back. And so, because I've been like waiting so long for this, like, oh my goodness, I can't imagine what it would be like to have started watching this like from the beginning. Like, I'm so sorry for you guys. And I have to wait a year. For episode 10 which is gonna be like the final episode oh, I wonder how it's gonna end and okay so like I was trying to fall asleep but I couldn't fall asleep and I'm like you know what I'm gonna watch it and I watched the entire episode because it's in parts and there's six parts for episode 9 it was really good it was it just had everything and the twists the turns it was great so many deaths that one person that died I was so upset about but I had a wait between it, so like they would say someone's name and I'd be like, I don't, I don't remember the name, or something like that. I sort of remember the names, but yeah. But it's, I love, I love it so much. You, you just don't understand. <laughs> like it's such a good show, and it's on YouTube, so you should go watch it. I will leave a link to the first episode down below, and a link to Nathan from the Third Pew's channel down below as well, because. Seriously, his videos are awesome. Again, it's superheroes, so you have like that whole superhero fun like stuff that goes on in the 
the show um, and them trying to discover their stories. Episode 9 is actually when you start learning the origins of their powers and how they got their powers and stuff. And there's some, if you're watching it, just remember like some people from the beginning come back. It, yeah. It, so that was exciting to see. And like they tied in things from like the beginning of the show, um, from the beginning episodes when they were talking about a certain particular thing that I can't tell, say anything about right now. So it makes sense now. Oh, goodness. But, um, uh, well, what's his name? Donald is that guy. Virginia is not a dude. Sebastian is the girl. You know that fourth guy, the the one doctor. He he's actually the guy who created the show, but the blonde one. What is his name? It's like the one name that I couldn't I couldn't remember for some reason. I, I hate when that happens. But that guy, the one with the scary powers. His backstory was so sad. It was like everybody else was like kind of funny, and then you get to his, and it's just like they're all like, oh, okay. That's your origin story. It was so sad. I was like, oh, that. I'm so sorry. Oh. But his powers are crazy and out of control. Let's see. What else is there to talk about? That's non spoilery. Obviously, more people die. It gets really insane in the show. You see them with their powers, like learning how to control it, I guess, a little bit. The CGI, CGI, yes, has gotten better. Every year it just gets better and better. Um, if you're new to this, yeah, it does take a few episodes. Like, I think I started to somewhat enjoy it at the end of episode two. And then I was really fully, like, addicted to it in episode three. Uh, or it was the end of episode three and then I was totally into it and addicted to the show by episode four. Again, it'll take you some episodes to get into, okay? CGI in the beginning is terrible. And I think it was the third episode where whenever Donald gets his electric whip thing, um, that that was when the CGI actually like got amped up and it was really good. So from like, I think it was that, whatever episode that is when Donald decides to become like a crime fighter or a vigilante, that is the episode I think is when everything just gets better from there. And I think in their first episode, there's an annotation to, to a certain episode or a certain part of an episode that is supposed to be like really good that would get you into the show. So I guess you can go with that annotation. I don't know. You should really watch Platoon of pa Power Squadron. It is so good. Like, it's amazing. I love it so much. Thank you, Nathan from Third View, so much. Actually, maybe you have to give thanks to Nash Greer. To be honest because like that whole controversy led me to watching a lot of videos about him and why his friends made the video and blah 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 and one of the first videos i watched was the third pew so if it wasn't for the whole nash Greer controversy thing i wouldn't have watched that video with the third pew and wouldn't fall in love with his videos because and his videos are so good i think that's gonna be the non spoilery things there's just a few things i wanted to talk about and just be like oh my goodness can't believe that happened but i'm not gonna go too much detail it, it was just one episode so maybe i can do like once episode 10 comes out and like you know a million years from now i could do like a recap of the entire show and just like go into detail that and actually i was thinking about rewatching the show once episode 10 comes out which again will take so many years well, a year, but it'll take so long from now. Um, so whenever I episode ten comes out and the show, and I'll rewatch all the episodes and then I'll make a review about it and just go into more details about all the episodes and stuff and just talk about my thoughts and my feelings and everything about the show. But yeah, so again, the show is called Platoon Power Squadron, Pops for short. And, um, links are in the description if you want to go check them out. Um, so I'm gonna just jump into some spoilery stuff, so if you haven't watched the show, or haven't watched episode 9, you should probably leave now. Alright. 
I think the major thing on my mind right now that I can imagine is when Donald sliced the guy in half. I, that, I was like, wait a minute, did he just kill someone? And then the other guy, he split like half that way. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. It was, it was legitimately insane. Um, and the guy just comes by and is like, yeah, I kind of made you because I was doing random experiments. And the whole soda thing, when he was like, oh yeah, I poured soda into it. And that's what the soda was reacting in the beginning of the show, when the lady or whatever, she did that whole stuff. Did she die or something? Or what happened to her? Now that I think about it. I haven't seen her in a while, you know. I can't remember what happened to her. Or if, you know, we're just going on with her. But I like that one henchman. The second one. Not not the main one who was all like, let's just shoot this guy. But I think he had a beard and he was like, he saved the other guy from dying. I didn't want him to die. He was actually funny and I liked him a lot. Oh, and that one other guy from way back in the day, that other henchman that we liked. I really liked that guy too. Just got a Snapchat notification thing, so I'm just like, I can't see my face. I'm recording this on my phone, by the way. I'm so professional, it's like stacked in notebooks and books. There's that one guy from back in the day, I can't, and I say back in the day because it just feels like it's been a while, but I can't remember his name. But he was like adorable and stuff, and I don't want him to die. I thought it was so funny though, when going from death to like, oh hey, funny moment. Oh, that's basically the show. Um, that one guy who had his baseball broken and he's like, I gotta go bury her. Um, the show is so funny. That one guy's just like, randomly an android. I wonder if we're gonna get more information on this like, secret base or whatever. How are they gonna defeat that whole like, smoke monster thing? That, that's creepy and scary. I kind of forgot how it was made, by the way. Like, it was like some sort of like, experiment. I remember at the beginning of the show, like, it was something to do with the hamster, right? Right? It's been a while. It's been a while. I need to rewatch those. But anyways, Damon, he is just freaky and scary. Veronica. Ron. Wait, is her name Veronica? Am I right? <laughs> Sometimes I forget things. Um, whatever her name is. She was, um, she was, like, hilarious. She was like, I'm just so tired. It's been a long night, you know, we have like this hostage situation, you know, we kidnap someone and all this stuff, and then so all these people like are coming in, so that one guy that knocked was really their dad or the one who gave them their powers, and she's like, okay, um, don't go open the door, who knows what's there, it, what if it's a vampire, I can't handle a vampire, I'm too tired, and her whole story about like going, being out of time and stuff, and um, the six months of like just n not being around anyone or anything. I do wonder though, does she age in that time? Because her hair was growing and stuff, so she's out of time, but is she technically aging? Is she technically like, does all these times out of time, you know, like if she spends like 10 years out of time, would she actually physically age 10 years? That, I think, words. Um, would she, like, you know, be 10 years older, and would she even look 10 years older? Like, these are the questions that haunt me, really. Oh, yeah, but the blonde haired guy from the, with the scary power one, his whole, like, backstory was so sad, you know? Like, he, like, just looks, he disintegrated his, like, best friend. He caught that, the bully on fire. It's just, oh my goodness. And, oh, I thought it was really sad, because Veronica was... I, if I'm saying it wrong, you know, I'll put the name up here, and I'll just hate myself for mispronouncing or missaying her name, but, okay. Um, but, Victoria, that's her name, Victoria, I must have wrong again, but Victoria, I'm calling her Victoria, she, she, um, asked him, like, what is, what, um, how many people have you killed? And he just, he just wouldn't answer because he killed so many people. I'm just like, oh, I'm so sad. I'm sorry. Um, but Donald, like, he's like, yep, my entire town knows I have powers. And they're like, your entire town knows? And he's like, yeah, it's a small town. 
other kids had issues and they're like, they had powers? It's like, no, I'm not kid on epilepsy. It's like, yeah, everyone's cool with it. No one told the secret or anything like that. That was just, it was perfect. I think it, it was a good episode though. I wish we got more. Like as soon as the episode six ended, I went into the description because it said next part was linked and everything. And it just, it didn't say next link. And I'm like, no, you, you can't end it like this. You can't end it like this. Mm, like, I can't believe it ended like that. Just them going off to get, um, four. Fox four. I said four, so now I'm thinking divergent. Um, but Fox four. Yeah. Is, is she really dead? Because I was looking at some theories in the, in the description. One theory was, like, if they put... Fox 4 back into St. Bastion, would Fox 4 kind of like get life or maybe it would kill Sebastian or something like, I, something like that. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm worried about what's gonna happen. So many deaths. They better not kill off anyone. Any of the four people. Any of the people in the pl platoon, okay? I can't, I cannot handle that. I would not be able to do that. I think, um, Sebastian or Victoria are my favorite. I think. I mean, they're all my favorite, but at the top, I think definitely in the beginning, like Victoria, like Veronica, whatever her name is, started with a V. Um, at the beginning, she was definitely like my favorite. She was, she's like the mother of them all, and she's just like the reasoning. And the rest are just like little kids. <laughs> when are they ever gonna get together, though? You know, you know the scary power dude and Veronica. Or Victoria. I wonder when they're gonna get together, cause I think, you know, you know it's not, it's going there. It's going there. But I, I think that those two people are actually dating in real life. Or are married, or something like that. I'm not entirely certain. But I think they are. That, that's what I've come to understand from watching, like, one video of them. And, like, them being in the same video. Cause he's, like, also, like, a YouTuber and he, like, does updates and stuff, so... I don't know what else happened that was crazy. Just everything. Everything about the show is insane. But I love it. And I think I think that's it. I think that's my video for today. I'll probably think of stuff this is unscripted. I was like, you know what? No one's here. Let me make a video. It's such a great show. I loved it so much. And definitely should make a full like review about the entire series later on. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.